mission of the NCOA is pretty easy. It's to provide a professional educational experience for any soldier that walks through the doors. Once they're here, over time, they see what right looks like and they go back with the necessary knowledge, skills, and attributes in their formation to be successful. So that, that's accomplished by having a professional cadre, staff, and, and civilians that are able to provide that world-class instruction to the students here at the Academy. The NCO Academy builds readiness by ensuring that the folks that come through here are trained and go back to their formation as sergeants. The Army needs staff sergeants. The only way to, to get staff sergeants is to have trained sergeants back in the formation, and that's what we're doing as far as it relates to readiness. Overall expectations on individuals should not necessarily be there because everyone's going to know something different and every unit has their own medal so we don't want to just put expectations on all soldiers. Um, however, we do expect leaders to at least give their soldiers the basic knowledge that they need to come into a situation like this. You know, you're here for 22 days so you should know PRT, you should know the basics of drill and ceremony, you should know a little bit about how to counsel, you know, so just those basic things that we know soldiers do, those are the types of things we expect from them. When you feel confident um, leading soldiers here, leading your peers, you'd be able to be more confident leading your subordinates. And a lot of times, too, you have those chain of commands that as soon as they know that a soldier comes out from BLC uh, or ALC and so on and so forth, those chain of command expect a lot out of them. What did you learn? But what I want the units to know is that don't shut down those soldiers that are enforcing the standard. Help them because that's the reason why we're enforcing it here in BLC. They're the future. If, if we could focus on three things, that's people first, winning matters, and this is my squad, in, and use the six NCO Comp Corps competencies with those narratives, we can change the paradigm shift in the formations. And we can make it from the, the current narrative, which is my right to attend PME, and change it to it's a privilege to attend PME.